Hey folks, Scott here with Android Guys, and today we're going to take a look at a weather application for your Android phone. Uh, it's called One Weather, and the developer is One Louder. You may be familiar with them if you've seen uh, Tweetcaster, Friendcaster, uh, Channelcaster, Bacon Reader for Reddit. Uh, they've been in the Android game for quite a while and one of our favorite developers. So let's take a look at their new weather application. Launching into it here, you see One Weather. Now, you'll see that the color that I have is like an orange and white with a cloudy background. That is customizable. You can change that uh, very, very easily, but we'll get to that in a moment here. Uh, also, point out the little advertisement that you see at the top. This is the free version of the application. So, when you get to the application, you'll notice that there are animations showing you Humidity, precipitation, wind speed. If you scroll, you've got your seven day forecast also with animations. I like these. Nice and clean. Go here. There's your weather. Uh, if you have any severe weather watches or warnings, you'll get those. Tornadoes, uh, storms, hail, things like that. Precipitation. You'll see over the next seven days what the chance of precipitation is. And these also have animations. They've got a nice little color, simple, clean. Here are your different types of maps, radars. This is the uh, radar version or view. Tap that. Air quality index. And UV index. Scrolling further, we have sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset. Clean little animations. These are tweets about the weather in your area as of today or most recently. They look like they come from Twitter bots and or weather, ham radio, things like that. One final one, you have weather pics. So these are photos look to be user submitted. Tap those and they're just photos. I'm not sure quite what they are. Uh, they don't seem to be too many that have you know snow or rain or anything like that. So. Getting back to the um, settings of the application, I'll set this down for you. Again, you can see, you might be able to make it out here, but there's an advertisement across the top. Maybe a little bright in here for you. So go into uh, settings. You can set the uh, weather alerts, the notifications to show up in the top bar here. Uh, turn that feature on and off. That's what you see the 80 degrees from one, one weather right there currently. You can also set how often you want the interval to be refreshing, refresh on launch of the app. And then if you want to go in, you can set the background. Like I said, that's the dark clouds. But if you go into, say, the rain, go back, you see it switched from the orange to a like a teal. I'd like to be able to change the color on my own, but I'm not going to complain about that. This is a free application and really uh, one of the best looking weather clients I've played with on Android so far. So uh, that little thing about the ads there, if you look in the Android market, you're not going to see one weather uh, paid version or pro version, but you can get rid of the ads right here, pro. Same great experience without the ads, $1.99. So tap that, and that takes you into the Android market to do an in-app purchase. You can accept that, same application, no ads. So definitely worth two bucks to get rid of that uh, if you go in there and use the app a lot. If you just like to use notifications, don't want to you know play around too much, just like a no frills application, you can let that run in the background. And you'll always be able to see what the weather is at a glance. Pop down. And launch the application. So really, really cool for free. Uh, definitely check that out in the Android market. Uh, I'd love to hear what weather apps you're using. Leave a comment here on the YouTube page. Uh, shoot me an email, scott at androidguys.com. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to yet or have not done so, please subscribe to our YouTube videos. Uh, also, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. 
And of course, go to androidguys.com for more news, opinions, reviews, and more. Thanks, and have a great day.